Hello, my name is Deborah Gundam. A couple of days ago, I watched um, a video uh, by Steve Harvey uh, titled, You Have to Jump to Be Successful, in which he also stated that every successful person in this world has had to jump. And it resonated with me so much so that I haven't been able to stop thinking about that video. I've watched it several times. I forwarded it to my entire family and to my friends to watch it. And the reason is because it reminded me of my life, of how many times I have had to make, make the decision to jump. For example, at a young tender age, right out of high school, realizing that I didn't have any future in my home country, Cameroon, I made that decision to do whatever it took to come to the U.S. to get an education. And when I came to the U.S., I realized that it wasn't the pie in the sky that everybody was talking about. It was difficult. And I had to make a decision to jump to find a way to get that education, otherwise I would have fallen by the wayside. I remember when I had to jump to make the decision to uh, drive from Maryland to Minneapolis to go to school. That was a 24 hour drive and I drove it all alone with a car that had nothing but heat. So I've had to jump several times in life. Even in business, when I became self-employed, I've had to make tough decisions that were not easy to make, but I had to make them because I realized that if I didn't, then the options were not what I was willing to live with. So I've noticed that a lot of people are just surviving. You know, call your friends and ask them, how are you doing today? And then you, you listen to the answer they're going to tell you, oh, well, hanging in there, just surviving. You know, I'm happy today's over. Tomorrow is another day. So a lot of people are just surviving. And the, the reason most of the time is because people are afraid to take risks. People are afraid of the unknown. What if I do this? And this happens. A lot of people are afraid. And I don't want to be honest with you. I understand that. But what I'm saying is that if you don't take that risk, if you don't take that leap of faith, then it's going to be difficult for life to change. It's going to continue being the same old life that you talk about every day. So um, in conclusion, I just want to say that Every human being was born with gifts. We were all endowed with abilities and gifts to do things. How about you find out exactly what your gifts are and see how you could use them to make a better life for yourself? A lot of people ask every day, how do I make my life better? But there are gifts that are dying within them with every passing second of our, every passing minute of every day. The gifts are in there. We were all endowed. We were born with it. All we need to do is just go get it. And we have to do that extra work. So um, I'm not asking anybody to uh, to make decisions that they can't live with because you have to be comfortable with the decision that you make. But what I'm asking is if you don't make that decision, if you don't jump, like Steve Harvey said, if you don't jump, what is your life going to be like? Let me just end with something I always hear um, Les Brown say. The grave is full of the wealthiest people. The graveyard is filled with the wealthiest people 
Why? Because a lot, a lot of people take their gifts with them to grave. He says you need to die empty. You need to die empty. Make sure that your gifts are given as some, to somebody else as a gift before you die. Don't take them with you to the grave. The grave is already full with so many wealthy people who didn't get to spend the gifts on earth that took it with them to the grave in their brain so find out what your own gifts are and make your life full so that you can leave a legacy for the for your family